Every artist we spoke with at the event was there to sell their work, but they also shared why it's important to them culturally and how far back their relationship with the craft goes. June and her husband have been tanning salmon skins for over two decades, which they use not only to make their own designs, but to provide for other artists as well. She sees the potential for traditional art to be accepted worldwide with the extreme variety of designs. And it's a wide span from ivory and baleen to basket weaving and skin sewing and working with salmon skins today. Leon began ivory carving when he was seven and he says it provided an opportunity for him to redirect who he was to become. 44 years later, he provides a space in the Alaska Art Alliance to help aspiring artists get their start in the craft. We're trying to make it easier for artists to be able to have a place to carve without having to worry about the space rent or finding materials, you know, or having to sell their work. Ariana says that her father inspired her to become an artist. Now she creates earrings to help keep her culture alive. I think it's really important to start beating and teach other people and younger kids to keep our culture alive. Siobhan recalls how her ancestors carved tools to survive, which is where she finds connection as she sells her ivory carvings to make a living. So I started really thinking about, you know, why I'm carving certain things and like something like this. I like doing this design, a circle with a um, little ivory in the middle as like a pregnancy, you know, a mother and a baby. And for Teresa, she contemplates on how she not only gets her materials from the land, but her inspiration too. I always have to look at our flowers, our trees, our animals and draw them first and then go home and try to create it. The creation on it is more important because it comes from within you. All these artists here share something that's important to them and share a craft that has stemmed from many generations before. Joe Kinnean, Alaska's News Source.